Hello friends, uh, this is Durga again from IT University. As part of Transform Stage Tour, this will be the uh, final video. Uh, we will be covering uh, how to write queries that produces rank or sorted data using Spark uh, in PySpark using Hive context. Um, so let's go ahead and start. So I am getting onto my VM. I am already in the PySpark of 1.2.1. And here, um, first you need to import the Hive context. Uh, sorry, this is Spark SQL. I have to come out of this one. And then I have to run PySpark, the explicit uh, path of uh, explicit 1.2.1 PySpark. I am launching using uh, master local. It will take just a moment to start. And now uh, it is in Spark context. We have to import the Hive context that we can get by doing PySpark.sql import Hive context. Then you can you need to create a Hive context object here. Um, Hive context. So we are invoking the constructor and we have to pass sc. sc is the Spark context object in Python, which will be uh, imported or which will, which will be created automatically when we actually launch PySpark. Hit enter. Now we can run uh, any queries that are available in Hive. So you can log into Hive as well in parallel and you can uh, run show databases to list the databases and show tables to list the tables. You can see the tables here. So you can actually do hivecontext.sql show tables and it will list the tables for you. Okay, I think show tables is not working here. For some reason it is not working and also as, as we have done earlier we we need to set this one so that it does not uh, create too many partitions or too many processes to process the data so i'm setting this one it is actually hive context the object i have created in here is the hive context Okay, so anyway, it is not listing the tables, but we can run the queries. For example, this uh, default data, when you launch and when you start Hive context, by default, it will be accessing uh, the default database and default database have these tables. Uh, so we can, uh, we need to pick the products table because for grouping and sorting, this is the table or this data set we have used uh, while writing a Python script. That being said, you can do hive context dot SQL and run start writing the queries. Select star from uh, products limit ten and okay. I know why even this uh, command does not return the details. So we have to do we have to iterate through the collection and print the details i have to use dot collect okay so you can see the tables now similarly to see the query results you can say for i in dot collect print of i and you can see uh, 10 records from the table. Now we will see how we can do actually global sorting, global ranking, and also global um, key, uh, by key sorting uh, and by key ranking as part of this video. So global sorting and uh, uh, global ranking is pretty straightforward. You just need to use order by, um, and uh, it will, uh, if you are familiar with SQL, you know what is order by is and uh, depending upon whether you want to uh, order by ascending or descending, you can pass that information as part of the query. So I already have the queries here. So 
so this is the query which you can uh, use to order by product price descending if you want if you want to do it by ascending you can do it using ascending also and also if you want to just uh, fetch 10 records from the table you can use this one and so let's do that so the first query will return everything and the second query will is kind of a global ranking where we will see the first top 10 records um, of, of the data set so DESC by product price and now I can use this query in the hive context dot sql give the query here paste and then collect then uh, print of hive and hit enter you can see the top 10 uh, uh, priced products so the first one the highest one is $19.99 and then you can see $17.99 and uh, you, uh, it is in the descending order if you want to just uh, see few details you can do that also let's say you want to see product ID Pro I dot product category id and i dot product price so whatever details you want you can see here so th this is how you can actually do the global sorting and also global ranking again if you want to implement dense rank it is a little bit complicated it's not that straightforward um, you have to uh, uh, use python based scripts uh, especially um, uh, in uh, uh, Spark SQL, it does not support Windows functions. Uh, for that reason, uh, if if it supports Windows functions, it is pretty straightforward. Hive supports Windows functions, windowing functions, but when you try to run the same query which is running in Hive, uh, if it is using windowing function, those queries uh, might uh, will not work in Spark uh, Spark context. Most of the queries, uh, the same queries will work between Hive and Spark. But as of 1.2.1, uh, Spark does not have support to windowing functions. So using Spark SQL, you will not be able to write uh, queries like this, which have over parted by etc. Uh, but the global sorting and ranking is very simple. Just use order by clause on the data set and then iterate through and you will get the results. Now we will see the uh, by key sorting. You can use order by also. First you can uh, use the product category ID because the key which, which we want to sort by key is the product category ID and then you can give the second column which is product uh, because we want to see uh, 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 the top products uh, from, uh, uh, the products in descending order under each category um, uh, by product price so we can define uh, the second column as product price and uh, DESC for dis uh, um, descending but this is not very efficient because the final phase uh, which performs sorting if you use order by uh, um, it it uh, it considers it to be a global sorting and it uses only one thread for that so if you have too much of data that needs to be sorted then the performance can be slow uh, in traditional program in traditional databases uh, there is no alternative for that whenever you use order by whether you need uh, you need global sorting or uh, uh, sorting by key, uh, it has to do uh, one kind of sorting and it can be serial threaded and uh, it can be very slow. In uh, big data systems uh, or big data databases like Hive, Spark SQL, etc., they support something called distribute by. So if if global part uh, global sorting or global ranking is not uh, the requirement, uh, if you just need per key then you can define distribute by like this and then you can define on what column you want to distribute by and uh, under that column um, the data will be sorted by providing sort by clause so you can use this query this query is much more efficient when you are dealing with a huge set of data if you want to um, uh, order by or, uh, or rank uh, within a key so the examples are for uh, in uh, United States, if you want to uh, see who is the 
uh, top employer, uh, then it's uh, uh, it's better to use distributed uh, distributed by because uh, uh, um, sorting the entire United States data need not be required. You just need to sort uh, within within each of the state. Even in the scenario, you can use distributed by. Similarly, if you want to get uh, some uh, statistics uh, sorted uh, in stock exchange, stock market. Uh, per sector, then again, global sorting is not required. You can distribute by sector and then uh, sort by or rank by um, um, uh, the volume or whatever criteria you want to check. Uh, uh, that being said, let us run this query. You just need to embed as part of uh, the high context.sql statement. And paste it and hit enter you can you will get the data in uh, um, um, distributed by the key which is for category ID and then uh, uh, sorted in descending order by the price for example uh, yeah, so this one is for category ID let me look at the query our oh, second one is product category ID. So this is the product category ID as 40. So under for, product category ID 40, everything is same. So it is not the right example. Under product category of 60, sorry 60, it is also same. Yeah, 50, you can see that it's 130. So even though the data is sorted by descending order within the product category ID, but the data, uh, overall the data is not looking uh, grouped together. For that reason, as part of the query, you have to say sort by distribute by product category ID and then sort by product category ID and then product price descending. Then you can hit enter. Now you can see that for uh, 50, uh, the data is grouped and uh, uh, sorted in descending order by product price. Okay, so that is how you can. Um, uh, actually get uh, scalable sorting by key by using distribute by and sort by it is very important to understand the difference between order by and distribute by uh, in conjunction with sort by because there can be a lot of emphasis that is one of the cool feature of uh, 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 hive uh, 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 distributed databases like hive that being said, now if you want to get the ranking like, like uh, we have seen before, uh, like if, if you just want to see top two products of each of uh, the category, um, then it is a little bit challenging uh, uh, because uh, the Spark SQL does not support windowing functions. In that case, what we have to do is you have to create a uh, RDD with this data set and then write a similar script uh, uh, like this. So, like this, and uh, uh, it's almost same uh, for ranking the effort you need to put whether you want to write SQL and then uh, get the top end records or directly get the top end records. The effort is almost same. But if it is just sorting and if you if you want to write using SQL, you can use um, the distribute by sort by or order by whatever. Uh, 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 is required uh, to uh, uh, to develop for the requirement but if you see the last query which uses windowing function called dense rank over partition by this one um, actually runs in hive without any issues if you try to run it in uh, spark sql it will not work but if you try to run it in hive it will work without any issues 
and uh, you see the query is compiled uh, properly and now it is running uh, so uh, now what we are trying to get is uh, we are trying to get all the top and uh, top two priced products so in this case for the data set which we have seen here for the category id 50 we will get all 130 uh, and 60 because these two are the top prices so all these records will be returned as part of the query okay and let's see it will just take a, uh, another few seconds to run and then we will see the results now you can see we are looking at 50 let's go to 50 you can see all 60s now where are the that one thirty this is the okay uh, it's uh, it's giving only 60s because there is an issue with query it should be less than uh, less than or equal to 2 so what it will do is it will compute the rank and then we are like uh, 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 for each and every record uh, based upon uh, the condition which we have given here by partitioning by product category id order by product price um, and uh, then we are trying to uh, we are assigning a column name for this uh, rank it is uh, named as dr and uh, here we have to say dr less than or equal to 2 so that it uh, uh, returns all the data which is uh, uh, with dr1 and also with dr2 and then you can also say order by if you want to just make sure that data is sorted and, and grouped properly id comma dr here also you can use uh, distribute by and uh, sort by if you want for better performance and you can get the results you can see because we use uh, order by and now instead of uh, total jobs 2 now it is using total jobs 3 earlier it was only total jobs 2 now we got the results and if you look at 50 you can see we got all the 60s and also all the 130s here so but this is little bit out of scope it works only with hive it does not work with the spark sql probably in the latest versions they might have provided the support for analytic functions but in the version which we which they will be provided as part of the certification you cannot um, uh, write these queries directly so make sure that you know how to write um, uh, by key ranking uh, applications using uh, core python itself as i have demonstrated as part of the last video that being said um, so far i have covered quite a bit on uh, uh, scala we started with uh, sorry python uh, pyspark uh, we started uh, uh, with a simple uh, 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 simple programs to read and write the data and I have covered uh, different file formats uh, in the text file, sequence files, uh, any Hadoop file and uh, how to read and write uh, you, uh, into Hive tables and also finally I have covered how to um, read and write the JSON as well and then we have seen uh, basic transformations such as map, flat map uh, to write a word count program and also reduce by key just to understand the complete flow once that is done we have gone to the next item which is to uh, to perform the joins uh, in which we have covered uh, uh, simple join uh, using uh, 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 using python based uh, programs and also uh, using embedded sql um, both uh, 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 Hive context as well as SQL context then we went into aggregation and we have seen uh, actions such as count by key and transformations such as group by key, reduce by key, um, aggregate by key, combine by key etc and then we have seen how uh, uh, we can actually filter the data and uh, now we have seen how to do the sorting and we have written quite complex um, uh, PySpark applications um, uh, as part of this effort. 
so i hope you will enjoy this uh, spark content and this is considered to be core spark uh, as i get some time um, out of the scope of the uh, certification i will try to cover all the uh, spark topics going forward um, um, uh, more advanced features how to pro customize quite a bit of stuff to uh, for performance or whatever reasons so keep uh, uh, sorry stay tuned to my channel you will get to see a lot more videos over time that being said if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to ask any questions go to stack overflow click on ask question and give a title and provide a question one minute ask question probably you might have to sign up you have to give a question you and then type it here and then uh, you you can tag saying apache spark pi spark pi spark sql there are three tags um, even more uh, so i will have a look at that and i will try to uh, answer those to best of my knowledge and also you will get a lot of support from the community if you start using stack overflow for your technical questions and also if you sign up to stack overflow you can build your profile over time by helping others and there are companies who hire uh, who consider uh, the uh, uh, the score on stack overflow like this and then uh, um, if you want to discuss further on certifications or uh, apache spark itself i have linkedin groups so go to linkedin and search for IT varsity Hadoop certifications and Apache Spark these two are the groups Hadoop certifications is for any certifications and Spark is predominantly for Spark so you can sign up for these groups I will accept and then uh, we can uh, uh, discuss if you are uh, 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 going to be uh, passed out in MS 2017 uh, please join this IT varsity US MS 2017 group I am planning to uh, pull uh, hundreds of uh, uh, MS 2017 students and train them in all the latest technologies uh, so that they are market ready by the time they come out of the college. That being said, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.